The EOS Foundation is coming to fund the ecosystem, pomelo supporters start harvesting their pomelos, and much more. Hello EOS Nation, I'm Daniel Keyes, and this is episode 114 of the EOS Hot Sauce. As always, our spicy weekly updates are available in every format. Watch on YouTube, listen on your favorite podcast platform, or read it at eosnation.io. It's also where you can subscribe to the EOS Nation newsletter and get that spicy sauce poured straight into your inbox. However you prefer it, help spread the sauce by smashing the like, subscribing, and ringing the bell. Let's get to this week's spicy goodness. A new EOS Foundation led by Yves LaRose and supported by Dan Larimer is being established with a mandate to fund the ongoing growth of the ecosystem. Eve shared this vision with the community in a Medium post on August 6th. Having recently resigned as EOS Nation's CEO, the vision emerged over the past two months through conversations with EOS stakeholders, including Dan Larimer, who published his support for the plan hours later, saying, There is only one individual who has consistently been leading the consensus building process on EOS, Eve LaRose, formerly of EOS Nation. I believe that a temporary leader of the EOS community empowered by inflation and checked by transparency can help us navigate the complex decisions that need to be made to ensure the success of EOS. EVE will be asking block producers to increase the inflation on the network with an additional 2% in order to fund the EOS Foundation. At the onset, the EOS Foundation will request the legacy name and RAM fees be placed under its stewardship, and on a periodical basis it will request transfers from the inflation savings account for ongoing operations. The response from the community was swift and overwhelmingly positive. For a recap of the excitement, watch the latest Everything EOS YouTube episode entitled An EOS Foundation is Coming to Fuel the Growth of the EOS Ecosystem. In this video, Zach Gall makes a passionate and persuasive case for why EOS needs such a foundation and how it could help revitalize the EOS community and ecosystem. Accompanying Zach on his episode was Chris Barnes, one of the elected leaders of the Eden on EOS community, who asked some very pertinent questions about the details surrounding the EOS Foundation, how it would operate, and how Eden will play a role in all of it. Chris has also published a written blog post that compiles his questions surrounding the EOS Foundation, as well as questions that have cropped up in various community discussions on the topic. And crypto writer Sean Ballant published a very raw blog post titled A New Dawn that offers a glimpse into the path that the crypto writer organization has taken and the difficulties they've encountered due to the lack of available funding in the ecosystem. Since the announcement last week, Eve has been focused on talking to various key stakeholders, answering any questions they might have, and working towards reaching consensus. He's promised more formal public communications as more details are confirmed. He offered some insights into how the EOS Foundation will be set up in a recent post on Telegram in the Everything EOS channel. The permission structure of the Foundation account will require a 36-hour delay for any action to be executed, allowing block producers to review all transactions and giving block producers the ability to intervene if they believe the transaction should be stopped. Overall, we think this is a great opportunity to fund the EOS ecosystem, retain our developers, and attract new ones to build on the EOS mainnet. Go EOS! It's time to start harvesting juicy pomelo NFTs from those pomelo trees. If you're a fan of the hot sauce, you've probably noticed our pomelo NFT promotion designed to educate and entertain supporters about the magic of quadratic funding. Over the past few weeks, pomelo supporters have purchased our pomelo ingredients and blended them together to form a pomelo tree NFT. All proceeds of these sales are being donated as matching funds in the first funding round of pomelo later this year. But this is the week when the fun really starts. Starting at 0 UTC on Saturday, August 14th, users holding pomelo trees in their EOS account will start to accumulate some juicy pomelo NFT yield. Collect four pomelos and blend them along with your tree into a golden pomelo that can be displayed as a trophy in your pomelo profile. The juicy pomelo NFT mining period will last four weeks and users who hold one pomelo tree from the start of the mining period are guaranteed to yield at least four juicy pomelos by the end of the mining period. Holding more pomelo trees in your account will allow you to claim more juicy pomelo yield. But you'll need to prove your uniqueness before you can harvest your pomelo NFTs. And that's where our new onboarding solution comes in. Designed to help onboard new users with as little friction as possible, it's so easy even your grandma can use it. Log in with social media or create an account using a username and password. Boom, you're in. Starting this week, we're inviting users to help us test out some basic features. Sign in, connect your EOS account to it, and claim your juicy pomelo NFTs. Before the first round of Pomelo funding later this year, we'll be implementing more anti-Sybil resistance features to support the quadratic funding aspect of the Pomelo platform. Rather than requiring KYC, users can increase their trust score by linking multiple social media accounts. The higher your trust score, the more your Pomelo contributions are matched. Eventually, this single sign-on account will be used across many of our different products and is already being used by our Diffuse customers. 
The golden pomelo blending recipe will go live in two weeks and will require four juicy pomelos and one pomelo tree as a blending recipe. The golden pomelo can then be converted into a non-transferable golden pomelo badge NFT, which will be displayed in your pomelo profile later this year. Get ready and claim your juicy pomelos now. Shintai's private beta program went live on July 31st, and its institutional partners have been able to get a taste of the platform services. The platform acts as a digital assets wormhole, serving a host of third-party services like digital assets issuance, custody, and secondary trading. That enables Shintai partners to do cool stuff like tokenize traditional assets in a ready-made environment. This is made possible using blockchain technology, eliminating a bulk of administrative expenses that come with managing traditional financial assets. The Shintai platform is a high-performance, fully customizable, white-label, all-in-one solution for financial institutions that want to test their digital asset products. The beta program has so far been widely praised by participating banks and asset managers. And that's all for this week's episode of EOS Hot Sauce. If you're catching this for the live premiere, don't forget to join us for the after party in the Crypto Voxels metaverse and race for the number one mint of this week's spicy rare. Once again, I'm your host, Daniel Keyes, and we'll see you again next week. Until then, let's keep it spicy. Join us for the live EOS Hot Sauce watch party in the Crypto Voxels metaverse every Saturday at 1600 UTC. The party continues after the show with a live Discord audio chat. Discuss the latest news and developments and claim a new limited edition spicy rare NFT every week. Smash the bell so you don't miss the next race for the number one mint. See you on Saturdays. Until then, keep it spicy.